Halbfinger, Isabel Kirshner and Declan Walsh 9.57 a.m. ET A mass attempt by Palestinians to cross the border fence between Israel and Gaza quickly turned violent, as Israeli soldiers responded with rifle fire, at least 1,000 Palestinian demonstrators were also wounded in the protests, which spread to the West Bank, in opposition to the relocation of the U.S. Embassy, Palestinian protesters running from tear gas and gunshots along the Israel Gaza border on Monday, Ibrahim Abu Mustafa slash Reuters by David M. Halpfinger 1026 AM ET The U.S. Embassy is moving to Jerusalem today, Israel's 70th anniversary. But it comes at a fraught moment, by Neil Collier, Ujaral Hulu and David M. Halbfinger by David E. Sanger and William J. Broad 5 AM ET The White House is calling for Iran and North Korea to reduce their nuclear capabilities, is moving in a different direction, with plans to spend billions of dollars building the factories needed to rejuvenate and expand America's nuclear capacity, by Ben Hubbard An alliance against Iran has tightened, with the US, Israel and the Gulf countries united in opposition, but their abilities to challenge the nation's reach are limited, by Adam Liptak 1018 AM ET The case concerned New Jersey, but it has implications for other states eager to allow in tax sports gambling. Americans are estimated to annually place $150 billion in illegal wagers on sports, by Paul Moser and Raymond Jong 855 AM ET President Trump said he was working with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, to prevent the collapse of the electronics giant Z. TE, which halted major operating activities after being penalized by the U.S. by Michael Schwartz and Ellen Berry 7.48 a.m. E.T. Sergei V. Skripal, a former Russian double agent, met secretly with European intelligence officers in the years before he was poisoned in March, by Margaret Coker in Iraq's first election since the defeat of the Islamic State. Voters considered bread and butter issues like corruption and unemployment rather than security, as their chief concerns, by Kirk Johnson 6.37 AM ET These are heady times for Boise, with an influx of newcomers, a spike in home prices and a jolt of jobs, but how will that change the politics in a conservative rural state? By Andrew Jacobs 9.19 AM ET Eradicating the artery clogging oils from the food supply worldwide could save millions of lives, especially in developing countries, the global Health Agency said, by Emma G. Fitzsimmons and J. David Goodman City Council officials say the city should fund a plan to give discounted metro cards to poor New Yorkers. The mayor says the money should come from the millionaire's tax. Michael Hirsch on companies in Britain, recently forced to publish the differences in salaries between men and women, are trying a variety of ways to close the divide, by Amy Tsong and Liz Alderman by Chris Stanford 9.51 AM ET Here's what you need to know to start your day by Emily Badger and In Young King 8.56 AM ET A 95-unit affordable housing complex receives 6,580 applicants, and more. The Daily The Time and Place for a historic meeting between the U.S. President and North Korea's leader have been set. Does President Trump deserve credit for the diplomatic breakthrough? Get a weekly roundup of the best advice from the Times on living a better, smarter, more fulfilling life by B. Shapiro Stadium Goods, a consignment reseller of rare or limited edition shoes, has positioned itself as the Tiffany's of the high-end sneaker resale market, by James Bonawasik Some fresh TV ideas, like HBO's Barry, have an expiration date. Loving a thing doesn't always mean we should get more of it. By David Z. Side 1004 AM ET He said his only choices were speak or conceal. But a third way would have avoided election interference. By the editorial board the World Health Organization is correct that all nations should eliminate the use of these harmful oils in food. By Margaret Rankle 5.30 AM ET Eating at immigrant-run restaurants is a way to signal I'm glad you're here and please don't give up. 
Page 2 Web Plus Smartphone Try for 99 cents Get Web Plus Smartphone Apps First 4 Weeks 99 cent Every Week Thereafter $3.75 Hide See Details Unlimited Access to NYTimes.com On Any Browser New York Times Smartphone Apps On iPhone, BlackBerry 10, Windows Phone 7 Plus and Android TM Powered Phones Times Machine Archive, see issues with all articles, photos and ads as they originally appeared. View up to 100 articles per month. After the introductory period, your rate will be $3.75 per week, build every 4 weeks. Web Plus Tablet Try for 99 cents Get Web Plus Tablet Apps First 4 weeks 99 cents Every week thereafter $5.00 Hide See Details Unlimited Access to NYTimes.com Com on any browser, New York Times tablet apps on iPad, Kindle Fire, Windows 8 desktop and tablet, Android TM powered tablets, Times Machine Archive, see issues with all articles, photos and ads as they originally appeared, view up to 100 articles per month, after the introductory period, your rate will be $5 per week. Build every 4 weeks, all digital access try for 99 cents get all digital access first 4 weeks 99 cents every week thereafter $8.75 hide see details unlimited access to nytimes.com on any browser, New York Times smartphone apps on iPhone, Blackberry 10, Windows Phone 7 Plus and Android TM powered phones. New York Times tablet apps on iPad, Kindle Fire, Windows 8 desktop and tablet, Android powered tablets, Times Machine Archive, see issues with all articles, photos and ads as they originally appeared, view up to 100 articles per month. Share your all digital access with a family member. After the introductory period, your rate will be $8.75 per week. Build every 4 weeks. Price thereafter $3.75 a week. $5 a week. $8.75 a week. Access to NYTimes.com. Access to New York Times apps for smartphone. Access to New York Times apps for tablet. Access to the full Times archives from 1851. Share digital access with a family member. Home delivery subscribers get free access. Promotional offers for new subscribers only. Smartphone and tablet apps are not supported on all devices, nytimes.com plus smartphone apps, nytimes.com plus tablet apps and all digital access subscriptions do not include e-reader editions, Times Insider content or digital versions of the New York Times crossword. Prices shown are in US dollars. Other restrictions apply. Students get unlimited digital access to the New York Times for just $1 a week. Special rates also available for faculty, educators and school-wide access. Go to education rates more subscription options more subscriptions from the Times. Enjoy the ultimate insider experience with exclusive behind-the-scenes access. Just 99 cents for your first four weeks. See Times Insider Unlimited Access to the Opinion section on nytimes.com. Just 99 cents for the first 12 weeks. See Neat Opinion Learn How Organizations Can Save with Group Access to NYTimes.com and New York Times Apps. Learn More Give Unlimited Access to NYTimes.com and New York Times Apps for as low as $30. See Gift Subscriptions Frequently Asked Questions and Unlimited New York Times Digital Subscription Provides Ongoing Access to NYTimes.com from Any Computer or Device, as well as Access to Apps on Portable Devices. When you subscribe, you will get access to articles and blog posts, as well as video, slideshows and other multimedia features. NOAA Digital Subscription Package gives you ongoing access to nytimes.com on any computer or device, plus New York Times apps for your smartphone and or tablet, depending on the option you choose. Print subscribers to the New York Times get a free all digital access subscription. This package includes free, unlimited access to nytimes.com on any device, as well as the full range of New York Times apps for your smartphone, iPhone, 
BlackBerry, Windows Phone, Android TM-powered phones, and your tablet, iPad and Android-powered tablets. Print subscribers can share all digital access with a family member. Free, unlimited access is provided to all print subscribers, no matter what type of subscription you have daily, weekday, weekender, etc. You'll also qualify for free digital access if your home delivery is provided by a third party, rather than by the New York Times directly. New York Times home delivery subscriptions do not include e-reader editions, Times Insider content or digital versions of the New York Times crossword. To activate your digital subscription, you'll need to connect your home delivery subscription to your nytimes.com account. If you have haven't already done so, visit this page to connect your accounts. Yes, our seat and site license programs allow schools, organizations and corporations to purchase digital access for multiple users at a group discount. To learn more, email group subs at nytimes.com or contact us online. We also offer individual subscriptions at a discounted education rate. To learn more, click here. Yes, to give unlimited access to nytimes.com and New York Times apps for as low as $30, click here. You can cancel your subscription at any time. When you cancel, we will stop charging your account the following billing cycle. Each billing cycle is 4 weeks, so your unlimited access will continue for the remainder of the current 4 week period. View the full cancellation and refund policy visitors can enjoy 10 free articles, including blog posts, slideshows and other multimedia features, each calendar month on nytimes.com, as well as unrestricted access to browse the home page section fronts, blog fronts and classifieds. Your free, limited access resets every month. At the beginning of each calendar month, you will once again be able to view 10 free articles for that month. New York Times apps are free to download and install. After downloading an app, you can read 10 articles each month for free. At the beginning of each calendar month, another 10 articles will be available for free. For non-subscribers, articles from the New York Times archives from 1923 through 1980 are $3.95 each. Views of archived articles outside that date range are free but still count toward the 10-article monthly